exploring technology. Today's topic is fussy reasoning. Approximate reasoning. The ultimate goal of fussy logic is to form the theoretical foundation for reasoning about imprecise prepositions. Such reasoning has been referred to as approximate reasoning. Approximate reasoning is an extension of classical propositional calculus that deals with partial truths. Approximate reasoning and then, along with endo gondani reasoning, and approximate reasoning, in the parayi na the, adale kana naamal veer na the. So let's begin with a simple example. So, we have a fussy information that we have to use. That information is a rule-based formula. Suppose the rule 1b, if x is a, then y is b, where a and b are fussy sets. Okay. Now, rule 2 is here. If x is a1, then y is b1. Okay. So, what do we need to do? Rule 2 is the consequent b1. आ B1 इने नमक्क रूल 1 इंदे information उभ्योगिच्च कंडु पिडिक्यान आगोमो. So, what the thing is that we have rule 1 with us. Okay, and what, what the point is that can we find B1, B1 with the help of the information obtained from rule 1? That is the question. Okay, so let us see. So, the consequent B1 can be found from the composition operation. This is the consequent B1 using the composition operation. Like B1 is equal to A1 composition R. So, what is R? R is the information. That is the intelligence we obtain from rule 1. Rule 1 is the if x in A bar, then y in B bar. Okay, so this R bar, this relation matrix is the information or the intelligence we got from rule 1. So, how we get rule this um, R? R is equal to A cross B union complement of A cross Y bar where Y is uh, the uh, universal set. Okay, so we this is the intelligence from rule 1. So, we, using this intelligence from rule 1, we are finding the consequent of second rule. Okay, so the two most common forms of composition operator. Abham, composition operation we use it on a chain in the baranu and the redila namukha the chiam that is using max min and angle max product composition. If it is example, the max min nana you say the rig another. Okay, about the angle nana, I render the rule in the consequent return in noka. If it is rule one par in another, if x is a, then y is b naan. A namukka thangni tindu and b yu namukka thangni tindu. Apadil nenna namula r gandu vidi kya na. r gandu vidi kya na yengi nana namula nerette parni yudu no. That is a cross b union uh, complement of a cross y. Okay. So this is the r and it is given. It thangana kandu vidi shida na. Inni, what the task is that we need to find the consequent of rule 2. That is, if x is a1, then y is b1. So, a1 is given. So, we need to find b1. So, uh, how to find? By using composition operation. That is, a1 composition r. Okay. So, a1 is here and r is here. So, we are going to find uh, b1. That is, by max min composition. Okay. So, we will do max min. So, here, uh, this is our a1 a1 and this is our r okay so this is our r so b11 v11 max min so we'll be considering this row and this column okay so min of 0.5 and 1 and a min of 1 and 0 0.4 0 0.3 and 0 0.0 0 and 0.8. So, uh, the min is 0 0.5. Here it is 0 0.4. Here 0, 0. Then we need to find the max. So, amongst this, the max is 0 0.5. So, the um, B11 is 0 0.5. Okay. Now, we are going to find out B12. Uh, so, we will be considering this row and the second column. 0.5 and 1 min is 0 0.5. 1 and 0 0.4 min is 0 0.4. 0 0.3 and 0 0.4 
point three and zero and point eight zero. Then again finding the max that is amongst this is point five. Okay. Then B one three using this row and this column and uh, we'll be getting point six. B one four that is this row and the fourth column and we'll be getting point six and B one five that is this row and the fifth. column and i'll uh, get 0.5 and b16 this is this row and uh, sixth column and we'll get 0.5 and uh, our uh, b b1 b1 is uh, 0.5 0.5 0.6 0.6 0.5 okay so uh, that we find the value the consequent of the rule 2 using uh, the uh, information or the intelligence obtained from rule 1 hope it is clear So let us do some other example too. Or a question, a realistic example. Let's know. Come. Suppose a fossil set is under the ground. That represents weak soil. Weak soil. Ah, uh, represent the another fossil set. Ah, that is our W. Another represent the other one. And it is 1.9.300. And uh, it is a subset of the universal set X. പിന്നെ മീഡിയം സോയിൽ ഒരു ഫസി സെറ്റ് ആയിട്ട് തന്നിരിക്കുന്നു എം എന്നാണ് അതിനെ റെപ്രസെന്റ് ചെയ്തിരിക്കുന്നത് ഇറ്റ്സ് ഓൾസോ സബ്സെറ്റ് ഓഫ് ദ യൂണിവേഴ്സൽ സെറ്റ് എക്സ് and again another uh, fuzzy set yes that represents stable and it is uh, subset of universal set y here uh, x fuzzy set x and y are given now we are going to construct the proposition okay if weak soil then not stable that is our uh, proposition so if then rule la if weak soil that is our antecedent then not stable so how can we write it uh, write it if w weak soil w then uh, not stable stable is s yes. not stable is complement of s okay so uh, we have to find out this information uh, from the rule one okay the information from rule one you are going to find out the relation matrix r uh, okay so this is the complement of of s that is 0 1 this is s so this is complement of s 0 so here it is 1.5 0.5 0.9 0.1 10 you are getting minus 1 okay 1 minus 0 1 minus 0 1 minus 0.5 1 minus 0.9 and 1 minus 1 that is how we are getting the complement okay now we are going to find out the relation matrix or the intelligence uh, we got from this first rule okay so this is um, how we find out the information that is uh, w cross complement of s uh, union uh, complement of uh, w cross y Okay, so this is the relation matrix or the intelligence we got or the information we got from um, rule one. Okay, now with this rule one, with this information, we are going to find we are going to find out the consequent of rule two. Okay, so the rule one was if weak soil then not stable. Okay, now the rule two is just like this: if medium soil then what? Okay, so then that that consequent we are going to find out using this first rule. Okay, so how to find out the consequent of the second rule using composition operation. Okay, composition operation of new antecedent and the uh, information obtained from rule one. So the new antecedent is M, medium soil. It is represented as the fuzzy set M, and the information obtained from previous uh, rule is R. So if we um, uh, uh, if we perform this operation, we will get the consequent of second rule okay so when we perform the max min operation of uh, this uh, medium soil m and the relation matrix that we got from the first rule we will get the answer like this that you can linguistically represent as uh, say less stable like that okay uh, whatever it may be okay so that is reasoning that is fuzzy reasoning that is from the information obtained from rule 1 we can find the consequent of rule 2 okay so why this reasoning is called as approximate why it is not why is it approximate that is what we are going to discuss next so okay from this here comes the idea of inverse relationship inverse relationship okay so we you know that from the info, in the intelligence or information obtained from rule 1 we found the consequent of rule 2 isn't it okay so rule 1 is so please consider the example the first example that we discussed just now that if x is a 
then y is p and we are fussy so a is given and b is given okay and uh, we got uh, the information from this rule that is r we know how we got it and we know how we got it a cross p union complement of a uh, cross y y is the universal so we know that okay so we found r using a and b okay then why can't we find b using composition operation of using the original antecedent a and the uh, relation matrix r that is what we are going to see okay so the question is from uh, rule 1 we found r we found r the information from of this matrix using a and b and if you can do this then why can't we find b by the composition operation uh, 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 with a and r here we are using the original A, original A, and we are going to see whether we are getting B back. Okay, so let's try. So let's try. So B is equal to, you are going to see A composition R, A is this, R is this. Okay, so A and then R. So we are going to perform max min operation. So to find B11, one, one, what we are going to do is that first row and first column. Okay, so 0, 1. Uh, 0 0.6, 0 0.4, 10, then 0 0.2, 0 0.8. So minimum is 0. Here the minimum is 0 0.4. Here the minimum is 0. Here the minimum is 0 0.2. So the maximum amongst this is 0 0.4. Now B2, that is the second element, this row and the second column. Okay. So 0, 1. 0 0.6, 0 0.4, minimum is 0 0.4, 1 and 0 0.4, 0 0.4 is the minimum, 0 0.2 and 0 0.8, 0 0.2 is the minimum. So, amongst 0 0.4 is the maximum one. Okay, then B13, this row and this column. So, 0, 1, then uh, 0 is the minimum, 0 0.6, 0 0.6, 0 0.6 is the minimum, 1 and 1, 1 is the minimum, 0 0.2 and 0 0.8. 0.2 is the minimum. So, amongst 1 is the maximum. Then similarly, 1, 4, 1, 5 and so on. Okay. So, finally, we got B that is uh, 0 0.4, 0 0.4, 1, 0 0.4, 0 0.4. This is not equal to our original Okay, so one should not expect an inverse to exist for fussy composition. So there is no inverse for fussy, but for classical binary logic, this inverse does exist. So that is why we are not getting the original B back. That is why we call it as approximate. That is why we call it as approximate reasoning. Hope it is clear. So that is all about uh, this uh, uh, fuzzy reasoning or approximate reasoning. So, we'll meet again shortly through the next video. Thank you for watching. Thank you.